okay? I'll do it with you all a couple times. We'll just go up one, two, three, four, five, and come back down. So, ready on no. Oh, did she go home? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh. 
That's right. That could have been. Well, let's grab like some from the back. Yeah, yeah. we can share. We can share. Okay, so let's get started, but let's start with a word of prayer. Brianna, would you give us a We're grateful that we can be here together this week and that we have a place to, to rehearse and sing and share our talents and continue developing friendships. We're grateful for the new faces and we pray that as we as we go about this, e this evening that we will try our best and, and enjoy enjoy this time. Help us that we'll be safe driving home and, and just take take care of our of our bodies and our so that is Debbie Davis. She is oh, yeah. one of our vice presidents. So we actually have two vice presidents, one in charge of logistics, gigs, that kind of thing. Paul is our other vice president. He's in charge of like people, personnel. I don't know what's it called. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the people side. Um, our president is Gregor McCarty in the back there, and I'm the musical director, Lori McCarty, for those who have not met me. We're going to start here. This one we did last year, so it should still be recently in your brain. Yes, yes, I'm hoping. So. Or in your heart, either way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Is that in there, Annika? No. It's not. Yeah, I don't want to be able to Can I just kind of you? I don't worry. Do you know what I Oh, that's not Just kidding. Now. Well, we have a lot of firsts here, so take your pick, which you feel more comfortable. So, whatever you sang last year, sing that tonight. Don't worry about switching anything. So, um, so this one. This is basically so our visitors can hear us. To what we kind of already know and hopefully uh, sound yeah. okay. So that they can sight read while we're they can sight read. That was so good. Oh, cool. cool. Full disclosure, we sang this last year, so yeah, our spray concert is all Disney. So this is one of the holdovers, one of the few things that was already in our library. The rest of it is new this year. So we'll just go for it. See what you remember. Oh, 
It's like the lullaby and the love song from a parent to a child that I really is. Yeah. It's amazing we've been for so long we still do it. So, Kelby Stern great. Yeah, he's down in Rio de Janeiro climbing hills all the time. It's either up hill or down hill, wherever he is. No, he's on his feet. So, yeah. I have a comment about Kelly on his mission. So tonight, Kibby said, you know, we're just having dinner and crazy, you don't have to say the prayer. Yeah. And then dad says the prayer, and he doesn't bless Kelly and Cody. And it ends. She's like, amen. I should have said the prayer when you abreast Kelly and Cody. I should have said it. Oh, my God. Jeez. Oh, for your ass. They know it all. You're fine, Dad. Sorry. <laughs> that's my son that's on a mission right now. Yeah. Sang with us previously, but uh, he's now in Rio de Janeiro. All right, go to Ring Out Your Bells. Sounds like a Christmas song, doesn't it? Never yeah. was. Earthlings. Yeah, take a look at this. On the first line, very chant like, just the ladies. It's only sopranos and altos there with the, the high hand bell. We don't have hand bells, we have a glockenspiel. We'll do what we can. I will probably, if I can make it work, I'm probably going to write it for two people at our one glockenspiel. So, so we can have four notes going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because there's some of it that's like big, Thank big, you. thick stuff. So, so it'll be fun. It'll take some ballet work probably to figure out who's where. But yeah. And then uh, drum also. So we'll have our djembe. It's written for a Peruvian cajon or whatever it is. But How about our Irish? Hand drum, probably not going to be loud at all. Just my, we'll use it on good ones. Okay, skip over to page six for me. Men, you're singing here. Please scratch out earthlings. <laughs> Sorry, that just goes right to aliens for me. Take me to your leader, actually. Yeah. So I'm just kind of stressed. Hey, I probably want to show you something. Only, only if you can have somebody in the background with bells going. <laughs> yeah. You hear it? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, we're on the same. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then over on page eight, we will also sing the alternate word underneath. We'll sing redeem instead of to caress us. It's poetic, but I feel like yeah. redeem. Yeah. So, yeah. I know what they mean, but. We'll use redeem and say scratch right through that. Uh, we do have stencils somewhere in the box over there if you need them. Crazy weird. All right, we sing the words bring out a million times. Get in the habit right from the get go. Green, green. Just not a full ring, just a flip. Green, green, green. Yeah, just one, one little flip on that bar. So. You mean the pen? You mean the pen? Hey, instead of saying raised in pity, can we say it like raised in mercy or something like that? Do you redeem us? And, you know, I like that. That seems funny to say. Raised in pity to redeem us? Yeah, I like mercy better. We will change that. Where? Top of page eight. Yes. Good job. Yeah, mercy and redeem. Raised in what? Mercy. Well, do, do apologies to uh, Paul Lawrence Dunbar. But he died a long time ago, so he didn't feel bad enough. He's experiencing the mercy now, so he knows. He knows. And he probably understands the true doctrine now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So bring out. Bring out. Keep that nice and long every time we do it. And it is in here five million times, I promise. So bring out. Bring out. Uh. 
So, ladies, this first line, very chant-like, very free. I know it has a string of eighth notes, but we'll just kind of do it yeah, as we feel it through there. So. That's directed by the spirit. Yeah, that's right. So, we'll just take their open fifth there.
yeah, bring out. <laughs> See, I told you, if you get that part, then you got, well, probably 80% of this song. So, uh, let's go back and look at a couple of rhythmic things. <laughs> Good, so we've got those opening ring alts, right? Each one of them cuts off on B4 right on it. We're good. I've been debating back and forth. In sight reading, I let you do it, but uh, the next phrase, looking at pick up to 13, ring out ye bells. And it's off. It's not ring out ye bells, all nature swells, or whatever it is. Um, so ring out ye bells, all nature swells. So you're basically on it and then off it right away because that clears the way for her little. We don't want to obscure don't short the fun. Glory. That's right. <laughs> that was the hope show. <laughs> and then we, we got that next uh, phrase with gladness at the wondrous story, right? First time was a little shaky, but after we've done it 75 times in this song, you know, you're, you're figuring out. Da 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 da. Yeah, and we're on our own on that one. That gladness of the wondrous. There's nothing in the piano, so yeah. So we're taking three beats and dividing it into four, and then coming in on beat four. So gladness at the wondrous, gladness at the wondrous story. And then that's the ring outs and repeating that over and over and over. Let's go back to the men's part at page six. I think I have to scratch it out. Blacker, because I started singing singerling. <laughs> it's even marked out, but in my brain. All right, one time with parts here, men. Measure, what is that, 25, two, three, and. Sing, children, sing.
starts one time, ladies. Two, three, and. Three, oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, it goes different places. We've got C naturals and F naturals in the end of a D major song where everything's been sharp. Good. Let's let's do the whole tune. Not the Alleluia's. We'll start. <laughs> Like the classic. Oh, you're definitely going to do You'll be able to get it. I have everything. So, ladies, let's do the whole thing, including the Alleluia. So, there's that one E that's kind of squirrely. So, there. Pure Latin vowels. They're thinking, oh, this is like. Yeah, that's what I like about. This is actually planned to be our closer. So we'll we'll come in with this thing. Very, very important. Real quick, you do realize when you're going after your song selections in the summer that none of the tenors are true first tenors. <laughs> and everything is doubled, so feel free to just drop and sing second tenor. Okay. It's you just know that you've got a real tenor in the tenor section, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, someday. <laughs> you can dream big, right? I made them. All right, from the beginning. Here we go. <laughs>
and breath. I know um, they don't rhyme, but <laughs> it's not a head, and it's not a face, so they'll just have to not rhyme. So. They probably really rhyme back in They rhyme visually. <laughs> the audience won't care anyway, right? All right, we kind of read through this last, we did read through this last week. We're just going to hit one. Well, we'll sing it all the way through to kind of refresh your memory, but then we're going to work the ending part. So, for right now, ladies, page seven, top line where it says solo, that's going to be first sopranos, and so second sopranos sing the second line. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. I can't call it the doo doo line, I got in trouble with that last week, so. That's our line. <laughs> You all have that one. So let's just kind of review the whole thing. Very rubato. It's a very are from the beginning, quietly and Good, good, that much one more time. 
Oh, same thing. Lori, you want this straight? Ish. Yeah. Ish. Light, leading towards straight. Sorry, Haley. Is not the Disney chorus? Yeah. Ladies, will you sing at 57 one time? All but in the background, right? Man of the melody. Ready? And. Is that the last time we sang? And then, like, 
I have to look. Uh, I'll find you in a second. Because I still have that photo. I was an alpha. I'm a very different person. I was alpha. Probably won't be this kind of weird. So. Yeah, so Alright, so we're going to take a look through this just for the spacing. Notice we start with soprano ones on one line, soprano twos on the second line, altos, tenors, basses. That only lasts for about eight measures, six measures. And then at the bottom of the second page we go to soprano ones on the top line, soprano twos, you've dropped down to be with the altos there. Does that make sense? Because you're going to be singing more words than everybody else does sing. Four years ago. Okay, that's all. Right. Um, and that holds true until we get to page eight. At the top of page eight, second sopranos, you're now up with the first sopranos. And the altos are all by themselves on that middle line. And then on page ten, we open back out to the full five lines. And we're that way for several pages, and then top of 15, we're back to the original soprano 1, and then soprano 2s and altos on the line, and we'll stay there for the whole rest of it. So basically, we'll see it on a 2, 2 lines, and one they just sing So yeah, just kind of be aware of where you are. Uh, we do ask that you just use pencils, do not go through a yellow highlighter where you're supposed to be. We do have all of this music on um, our website, so that if you have a device and prefer singing from, yeah, like those guys back there, that you can yellow highlight all you want on your own device, just not in the paper. I highlighter off the screen. In virtual highlighter. <laughs> Paul. Oh. Paul. Oh. Virtual highlighter. He's a tenor. He's not a real tenor. <laughs> All righty, a couple of, take a look at this pronunciation guide here. Choir, you only need to worry about the first two lines. In case you're looking at all that and going, whoa, that's a lot of Latin, don't worry about it. Most of it's on the soprano's back. So you're just singing the first part. Go, go, that all, and the ooh. We'll stay on the ah uh, if you're on a long one. Gauda te. Gauda te. Not gauda te. Those closing e's, the ending e's, it's very easy to chew that one. So gauda te. Gauda te. Gauda te. Second line, Christus. Christus. Est natus. Ex Maria, if you can put the R, Marie, Marie, Maria, Virgine, soft G, Virgine. That's another one that tends to get Virgine. Virgine, Virgine, Gaudete. And that's all you have to worry about. Sopranos, when it gets to your part where you're singing the Latin verse, just for tonight, I don't care. If you sing Latin, go for it. Sing the Latin if you know it. If you don't, just la 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 is fine for me, so, because it does kind of fly by. Yeah, look at the dates on this one. Really, really old. Really, really old. So it's more of like a madrigal. It's got that Renaissance feel where it says 4-4, four, four, but it doesn't really feel like 4-4. Four, four. You'll notice we're singing along in 4-4 four, four, and then there's these random 1-4 measures stuck in there. That's just to get everything to line up. So, uh, let's just see what we remember from four years ago or... How many of us were four years ago? Yeah. <laughs> I can say that. This may be few and far between. And even if you were here four years ago, there's no guarantee it's still in there, right? Uh, so we have introduction up to page, se or to measure seven. This will be with triangle, no, tambourine and the hand drum, the, the Irish Lebanon. But do you need a shawm? No, no shawm allowed. That's too close to clarinet. No, it's a trombone. Oh, that's right. No, I don't want one of those either. <laughs> Talk about yourself. Why are you leave me out of this? Did you redo? So that's 
where we're headed. So we'll skip those first two measures because it's on drums. I'll go. I'll try to hold back a little bit tempo-wise. One, two, three, four. Come on, come on. 